Mackenzie County is well serviced for transportation infrastructure. We've got, got some good highways up into the region. We've got uh, CN Rail Line serves the region and they recently increased their, their level of service as well. We've got four airports overall, two of them with, with scheduled flights to two smaller airports, but to create for charter. We have uh, regular flights here uh, every day except for Saturday. We also have a service tower here, so it's a fully operational airport. So I see a lot of potential here. It's a great northern destination to help you get from where you are down to the south and beyond that. We have our airport here. We have regular service. It's charter service three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's provided by Husky Energy. Anybody actually can use the seats and book a flight out. Mackenzie County in general provides a lot of opportunities for, for new businesses and for pre-existing businesses depending on what market you're looking to get into, whether it's construction, from outfitting. We, we do a lot of uh, charter work actually for fishing lodges up in the northwest corner of Alberta that uh, not too many people know about. We do uh, daily service Monday to Friday. Everything is next day service. Something you would ship on a Monday we would receive here. Tuesday morning, and it would be in Rainbow and Zama Tuesday afternoon. We do a lot of crucial samples, uh, blood samples from the hospitals, all the water samples from all the uh, neighboring reserves, and a lot of the environmental dirt samples. We receive them here at seven o'clock at night, and they're delivered in Edmonton or Calgary by the next morning. We haul oil field equipment, parts and stuff into Rainbow Lake and Zama. We haul for forestry industry. Uh, we haul lumber out of the Crete area parts for the mills, groceries for the grocery stores, the hardware stores, or all the different businesses in the Crete and High Level. We have trucks in Edmonton that gather up all our goods. They leave anywhere from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evenings, and they are in High Level and the Crete the next morning. For the logging side, a lot of it is done in winter because uh, this area is a lot of muskeg. Still a lot of ice roads, freeze in a lot of roads this time of year have access to the, some of the timber that's out there, which would be Zama all the way up north to the uh, to the border, Northwest Territories, BC border, Rainbow Lake, and then out going east. A lot of that can be up to, to 600 kilometers a winter of ice roads. We go in, we make snow, we freeze in the roads, and we flood the roads, build the crossings over creeks and over streams and uh, cross lines, our pipelines and stuff like that so that we have access. Between Richardson, CN, and I believe some of the local lumber companies as well advocating and, and needing to move their product as well. Uh, CN has increased their service. They've added a few more days a week to their schedule. And I believe there's, there's a few other things that they could potentially do as well to further improve the level of service should there be that further increased demand. A few different groups are, are proposing uh, a rail line from Alberta to Alaska. Conversations are ongoing, I believe, with, with the province, state, First Nations and, and other communities involved. It would definitely be a, a big boost for Alberta, but specifically our region would be access to new ports, new markets. Mm -hmm.